Here we're going to make a video on the in-center of a triangle. Now, the in-center of a triangle is where the is a point of concurrency again, but the point of concurrency of the three angle bisectors of a triangle. And so what is an angle bisector really quickly? Well, if I just have an angle here, an angle bisector is called angle A. Angle bisector is where we take a ray segment, um, pretty much whatever, but usually it's a ray uh, by the definitions, and this ray bisects this angle, meaning it cuts it directly in half into two congruent angles, okay? Um, and so that would be the angle bisector of this, of this angle A here. And so we're going to find the three angle bisectors of a triangle. Again, a triangle has three angles, um, or three interior angles. And there will be a point of concurrency of these three angle bisectors, which makes the in-center of a triangle. Again, now with the term in center, you're going to think maybe there's going to be some circle going on around the center of something, and you will see how circle and uh, a circle and triangle will relate um, pretty well, actually. So I'm going to make a triangle here, and um, all, always the in center will be inside of the triangle. It will never be outside, so it doesn't really matter if you have an obtuse, acute triangle here. Um, I'm going to try to make just a kind of standard triangle here. It's almost equilateral. Okay, not really, but okay. And so we're going to find the in center of this um, triangle. And so again, the end center is the angle bisectors. Um, let me plus A, B, C again. Triangle A, B, C, but it doesn't matter. And so let's find the angle bisectors here. So again, I'm going to roughly cut these angles in half here into two congruent segments. Okay, let's do this one in half. I'll do this one first. Again, let's make a ray, cuts it in half as best as possible, freehand. Okay. Directly in half, and the last one here. That's directly in half. Make these little things congruent here, and voila, right here is our point of concurrency of the three angle bisectors of a triangle, which creates now our in center. That is the in center right here, the point of concurrency. What do we, well, what do we know about this point of concurrency? What do we? What can we conclude about this point of concurrency? What's so special about it? Well, the in center itself is equidistant again to every single side length of the triangle. Equidistant. Well, the distance between a point and a line segment, um, you, that's the perpendicular distance from that point to, to the line segment. So that's what we call the distance. If we were to say any distance in general, what's the difference from the point to this part of the segment versus this part versus this part are all going to be different. So when we refer to the distance of a point to a line segment, it is the shortest distance, which will always be the perpendicular distance from the segment itself. So, um, well, since it's equal, it's pretty close, but here's the here's roughly perpendicular there. Here we go. And here we go. These are all the distances. These would all be congruent, okay? The distance from this point to every single segment of a circle. And again, now we have three congruent segments that are kind of going around. We can say, oh, there might be a circle, the in-center, the center of a circle. And then this is actually a circle that's inside of the triangle that touches each of the um, sides of the triangle itself once. Now I'll throw up my circle here. That's a drawn circles freehand, but I wish I had my little compass, but there's not really a driver's compass that I have. All right, so now this point of concurrency in the middle of the in center itself is the center part of a circle whose triangle touches the, the sides of the triangle touch um, the circle at three different spots. And this in center, again, will always be inside the triangle, always, always, always be inside the triangle, okay? I hope this video was informative. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, Minute Math. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. Have a good day.